Uh, it's a really privilege to say a few words at the beginning um, and express, you know, also just my personal debt to you, Nati. I think uh, you will hear many people saying things and uh, probably at the end of the conference, somebody will say, well, everything is said, but not by everyone. Uh, but it's my pleasure to do it first. And um, I think I speak on behalf of all of us that, you know, whenever we work on the subject, your footprints are there far, far ahead. Um, and particularly, I think it's great that we have this conference here at the Institute because there is such a long uh, entangled history with you and the Institute. In fact, it's very difficult for me to think about the Institute without you. And in some sense today, with the, the present crowd, it's like all of these historical moments are fused into one big experience. So I think it has never been better as today. Uh, for all of you, Nati came here as a postdoc in 1982. Uh, among others, uh, Michael, Michael Dine and, and Andrew Strominger were here, uh, a great group. And uh, you stayed here till 1985. Uh, then you went to Weizmann, we came back here, 87, 89, that was, the, I think, the period we first met. Uh, made a tremendous impression, and I'm again, happy we are recreating something of that atmosphere these days. Um, and then you... Uh, went to Rutgers, where we also had many interactions, and finally were appointed here a professor at the Institute in 97. Um, I must say you played, of course, a crucial role in uh, the science being here, uh, but also in kind of securing and expanding the wonderful physics group. And you were also at some certain periods manning the fort, and so there's a, a lot of gratitude of the Institute to the role you played. You actually still, uh, for those of you, Nati still plays a very active role here in faculty recruitment institute-wide. And in many ways, I consider you the conscious of the institute. It's a terrific role. And just for me personally, it's a very simple thing. I think without you, I wouldn't be here. That's, that's it. Um, it's for all of you interesting to note we're celebrating Nati's 60th birthday, so it's not a, a difficult to guess at which year you were born. Uh, 1956, which actually was a significant year too, of course, because that was the year when Xi'an Yang and T. D. Uh, Lee actually uh, had their inf investigations in parity here at the Institute, uh, which is, uh, so you were born at a significant period of time, both in physics, I would say for the Institute, but also for the kind of topics that you are inter interested in. And not a bit of trivia, Yang was actually born in uh, September September 22nd, which is your actual birthday, as also is Michael Faraday. So all the, 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 the stars were, <laughs> were lined up fine. Um, so now they entered the world in this dramatic moment uh, of 20th century physics and added a lot to it. We will uh, hear about your achievements and how people are working with these achievements during the conference. Uh, but it's clear that you know, your achievements were recognized worldwide. Uh, I just mentioned the MacArthur Fellowship, the Danny Heinemann Prize, the Fundamental Physics Prize, and most recently this year, the Dirac Medal. Now, this conference, in some sense, is a, it's a wonderful birthday present to you, but it's like the worst birthday present we can give because it's kind of violating all of your principles. Now, we all know if not, he doesn't, uh, doesn't understand something if he doesn't understand the smallest details. And this conference is just a black box. Uh, all of your, uh, the details have been shielded away from you. So it must be horrible. Uh, because you understand the details, your thinking is so clear, your presentations, your papers, and um, nef nothing is repeated. Everything is new, everything is original. I'm sure this conference will not li live up to the expectations of, uh, of, a, of a cyber paper. And I think one of the greatest qualities I feel personally of you is that you, um, you're totally frank about what you do understand and what you don't understand. Uh, we had, I had a conversation with one of the young physicists here and I said, well, what, in which way is the institute different from other places? And he said, well, uh, the faculty is extremely frank and honest by telling them us what they don't understand. And I think this is, this is a great quality. I think you have, uh, one, you're one of the people who really make us understand what we don't understand. And you were one of the first to indicate that you don't understand quantum field theory, you don't understand space, you don't understand time, you don't understand symmetries. And so you make us understand that we don't understand. That's just terrific. And I think you do this with uh, a great sense of taste. 
we will also see in this conference that Nati doesn't care about disciplines, he doesn't care about the dotted lines that are all over the map of physics. You believe in the universality of physics, you believe in being, having an open mind, asking simple questions. Uh, it reminds me sometimes of what uh, I think uh, the mathematician Alexander Grotendieck said, that he kind of kneeled deeper than anybody else. And I think you, you ask these very simple uh, questions. So finally, I was asking you, what is this conference exactly? It's, it's, it's what's your role at the conference? So actually, you're the subject of the conference, which is a strange thing to be a subject. I think we, I know of you as an object, uh, an object of our affection, uh, of our admiration. I also know of you as an adjective. Uh, in fact, there are many cyborg equations, curves, dualities, maps, superpotentials, bounds. We see all of them. And often you're a composite in hyphenated version. And many of the composite parts are here in the room. Um, but you're, no lo you're not yet a verb. And uh, I would kind of uh, hope that at the end of this meeting we can make two cyborg or something to... Uh, I would say it's, make, it's absolutely making something crystal clear. So uh, I'm looking uh, forward to this talk. I want to recommend to all of you this a wonderful interview that uh, Hiroshi Oguri and uh, Yuji Tajikawa had with you. It's, uh, it's online and perhaps we should distribute it, where you, um, you really dig deep in what it means, what, you, what your career has meant and what your attitude in physics is. Uh, in that uh, um, uh, wide-ranging conversation, you compare progress to somehow a random walk stimulated by many sources leading to unexpected results and surprising answers. And I think that's true. I just want to quote Nati's last words uh, of that interview. Pursue what you're interested in, keep working hard, pay attention to what's going around you, and be flexible. These are the rules. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Well, that's for us mortals. For other people, it exceeds all expectations. And I think um, that's a, a great honor for us to uh, have this occasion to shine a light on all these expectations. So um, with these words, uh, I have officially opened the conference and I hope you all have a terrific time enjoying the talks. Again, thanks to all the speakers, organizers, chairs, and I think Nati, you want to say a few words too. Thank you. Well, that was a tough act to follow. Good morning, everybody. I'd like to thank all of you for coming to this celebration. I am deeply touched and honored by the large number of people here, people who inconvenienced themselves to come here, especially those who had to travel a long distance and suffer jet lag. I'm also thankful to the organizers, and especially one, the only one I cannot see from here, <laughs> who initiated the event and convinced me to have it and that's particularly impressive because they knew when they started how much work it would mean uh, for them. And indeed, they did a terrific job and they made it happen. And of course, I thank them not only for the work they had, that they, they suggested that, knowing that they will have to do so much work, but also the fact that they actually did all this enormous amount of work. Before I, we start, I would like to point out something. Stories about the past are often wrong. At best, they are imprecise, but often they are just completely wrong. <laughs> Even when the core of the story might have a kernel of truth to it, <laughs> as it is told again and again, it tends to snowball and to introduce new elements. In the coming days, you will hear many stories about me. <laughs> I assure you, they can't possibly be all true. <laughs> so thank you again, and have a wonderful time. Hello, a couple of practical announcements. Uh, if you haven't bought your lunch tickets, please do so before the coffee break. Also, uh, you are welcome to have breakfast at the dining hall uh, in the morning. And uh, tomorrow, uh, today's dinner is uh, on your own, so you're welcome to go to one of the wonderful restaurants in Princeton. Okay, so now I'll introduce Kun Rumbafa, who will chair the first session. <laughs>